Okay, we're going to call this meeting to order a special meeting of the Formation Committee. We want to announce that the meeting is being recorded and we're open for public comment. Seeing no members of the public here, we'll open the item for the first discussion item. Um, can you read that, Spencer, what the first discussion item yeah. is? Because I don't know what that is. So the first discussion item is consider and approve IBCSD yeah. yeah. Formation Committee Chair Geisens response yeah. letter dated April 20th from a member of the public regarding the Brown Act or consider a response from the Formation Committee to adopt a letter to cease and desist. So we received a letter at a full board meeting that was addressed to Chair Geis um, stating that uh, we had violated the Brown Act and that the letter served as a cease and desist demand letter uh, under Government Code Section 54960, Subdivision 2A. Uh, essentially, if we do not, if we do not write a letter back saying that we cease and desist from the alleged actions, then there, like it opens the door for said party to then take legal action. But if we do cease and desist, then it goes away. The problem is the thing that we're being asked to cease and desist from is speaking about our schedules as it pertains to when we schedule formation committee special meetings, um, which is something that in my reading of the Brown Act, we clearly have the ability to do. Um, I don't want to bore you by reading the statute, um, but I think that it's unfortunate that members of the public are trying to stop us from scheduling meetings. Um, I did think, though, that the letter that you wrote, Bob, was just a little too short so that I spruced it up a little bit uh, okay. and cited some government code. Um, the main two things that I cited in there are 54952 uh, which just states that the majority of the members of a legislative body shall not, outside of a meeting authorized by this chapter, use a series of communications of any kind directly or through intermediaries to discuss, deliberate, take action on business that is within the subject matter jurisdiction of the legislative body. And I think the argument that scheduling a meeting or conferring with one another about what our personal schedules look like as it pertains to scheduling a special meeting that we can all be in attendance for that will be noticed under Brown Act requirements. I think the argument that that's under our subject jurisdiction matter is um, silly, to be frank. Um, well, it's not an item of business either. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, you know, I guess you could narrowly define it as an item of business, but it's not a, that's what I would argue, it's not an item of business, it's a scheduling. So what is your recommendation that the action we take is? Um, I would recommend that we uh, direct Chair Geist to send the letter as prepared by me uh, to the requesting party. Second. I think it's well done. Yeah. Thanks for, thank you for Yeah, no, nope, not a problem. Are there, are there any other questions about it? I also put in there, and I just want to say it for the record, that the Formation Committee welcomes public participation in its proceedings and affirms its commitment to comply with all statutes instituted for the purpose of ensuring the open nature of its deliberations, uh, including but not limited to the Brown Act. Uh, because that's, that's I think good. that is the way that we feel, and I think that we've made a very good faith effort to do that. Um, and I think it's unfortunate that um, there are people trying to stop us from scheduling meetings. Um, but, you know, in the absence of staff, this is something that we have to, you know, deal with and deliberate, so. Call for the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, just to, for the record, so I'm going to take this, put his address in, yeah. take off draft response letter. Should I put it from the formation committee or just from me? Oh, well, you don't have to have anything in the in the header. Okay, take off the header, put yeah. in the two, Gabriel, and uh, sign it. Yes. And mail it and send you correct. a copy also for the record? Uh, I Yes, correct. Yeah. With your signature on it would be nice. Yeah. That'd be cool. Right. Uh, and the same goes for the next uh, item that we have too, if you want to move on to that. So the next item is for a cease and desist letter of May 9th. 
Um, the first being failures to notice regular meetings and post agendas 72 hours prior to the scheduled meeting, and failures to adjourn or continue meetings that are scheduled but not held. Um, Gabriel did point out in my draft letter that I forgot a paragraph, and that paragraph is a is follows that failures. It yeah, says in order to avoid unnecessary litigation and without admitting any violation of the Ralph M. Brown Act, the IBCSD Formation Committee hereby unconditionally commits that it will cease, desist from, and not repeat the challenge past actions as described above. Uh -huh. and, and I agree, I failed to do those agendas on time, and um, you know, we probably didn't cancel the meetings and let the public know, so. So, as a point of order, when a meeting is canceled, do we have to meet and cancel it? I believe that is the, mm -hmm. actually, we do, I think we do have to take formal action. I'm not quite certain I'd have to get back to you on that. Why don't we look at that, just so that we know that as we go forward, as a, as a matter of good practice, that, um, that, see, I don't know how we would, if I, if you don't have a quorum, right, I mean, here's the thing is, if you come here and you don't have a quorum, you can't take any action, right? Yeah. And, and so, if it appears that we're not going to have a quorum for a committee meeting, then you cancel the meeting. Right. But you can't do that formally if you don't have a quorum. Right. And so you can't do that unilaterally. <laughs> yeah. I think the bigger issue is just that we completely forgot that we had a regular meeting schedule that was at this time. Yeah. We didn't get out an agenda or anything. Right. Um, yeah, I was confused because of the timing of the agenda and waiting for the yeah. board meeting, and we we, we fixed yeah. that okay. by having our meetings on the second and the fourth. That's but right. if there's two members that, I guess if, if one of us shows up and there's no quorum, the meeting's canceled. Yeah. And you open without the meeting formal. and cancel it without a... But, you, but it's not a formal action because you can't take a formal action. Yeah. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm just laboring it. I do, yeah. since we've opened up the general thing of best practices and how we as a committee are going to try to achieve better practices in response to these letters, um, I'm a little confused that we're having a meeting next Tuesday. Because I thought we just decided we're going to have meetings on, or did I read something wrong? May 22nd. Uh, May 22nd is the second. I believe we're having the meeting on Monday. Oh, and Monday, did I just put it on Tuesday? Uh, I need to. No, I think you put it on Monday. Did you? We okay. Can, we can look. So it's going to be the second and fourth Mondays. Yes. Okay, will you take a look at that email? Because I thought it said Tuesday. You know, I might have written it wrong when no, I, I said Tuesday, May 27th. Will you just take a look at that again to make so sure I, that we In my email, I said it was Tuesday. In On the agenda, it says that it's. Monday and okay. based off of what I have noticed it is Monday so Monday the 20th yeah that was okay. just a, an email typo okay right. good I just want to make sure that that we didn't run afoul of the Ralph M. Brown Act right yeah I, I, I think we're okay we're so right. if you guys right. want here's the corrected copy of what yeah. I printed adding that paragraph I'll, I'll, I'll move approval of this is to be sent out with copies to be given to the secretary of the board and also to be shared with the board yeah. I'll second could it could I just just say that we wanted to maybe amend that the letter sent out on the agenda to include the cease and desist language that's friendly okay yes I'll second that can I second my was oh, I? Oh no, I, I second you second it. Okay, yeah, and then George moves. Any more discussion? All right, call for the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 And uh, that being it, uh, move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.